Jeff, I gotta ask you, I mean, the, uh, the air war is something totally different, and we have been seeing uh, uh, Russia deploy a lot more uh, air assets, but primarily this is a ground-based army, uh, right? A lot of tracked vehicles, armor, et cetera, and I know you're, a, you're an old uh, a tank guy. How important is it, now that we're talking about the south and the east and the Donbass, the time of year and the weather, it's the spring. Snow is melting. There's going to be mud. Uh, I mean, how, how uh, is that going to aid the Ukrainian effort resistance or and deter the Russian uh, uh, the Russians or, or not? I mean, I think it's going to complicate operations in the east, it's both on the ground and in the air. If you have uh, you know uh, storms, the Russian air you know air forces haven't performed great in close air support during this conflict, and so that's going to make it even harder for them. But I think in many ways it will depend on how the Ukraine on the, the impact on the Ukrainians on how. How, what kind of tactics they use. Are they going to use small foot groups like they have, you know, in and around Kyiv with anti-tank weapons and, and you know, shoulder-fired um, air defense weapons? If that's the case, the, the, the weather is not going to impact them as much as it does the Russians, probably. Mm, okay. Are we potentially going to see more uh, atrocities of the nature of uh, what we have seen reported uh, from uh, Bukha? Uh, Bucha, pardon me, uh, Jeffrey, and is this is this a Russian MO now moving forward? Well, it's, it, it's, it remains to be seen, but unfortunately, um, if I had to guess, I would say we're going to see more of this. Um, at t I mean, when you, you study these things through history, you know, they, they've happened at various times, often when units are really depleted, really beat, and their leadership has demonized the people that they're fighting, and you kind of get this non-human, and you, you see that, like, Russian soldiers are honestly thinking that they're trying to find Nazis in Ukraine, which is absurd. And so I think, unfortunately, given how beat they are and the fact that the, Putin has created the conditions under which this would happen, I think we might see more.